And this is why we have sex. <laughs> She has a lot to do. <laughs> so she is the sanctuary of our yard. I always know when someone comes up or the neighbor comes home because she starts calling. Um, obviously, this is a bald eagle. This is a female. Um, and she is going to be turning 18 this spring. I've been working with her since she was about three months old. Um, she was either pushed or fell out of the nest when she was about three weeks old, broke a leg and a wing. And then she was in a rehab center that did not have another eagle. So she is an imprint. Um, she was taken from that center once those injuries were healed to a center that specialized in eagles. And they put her in enclosure with the adoptive eagles there, and she tried to kill them. So did not recognize them as her own kind. So I got a call. I have the perfect eagle for you. And my partner at the time drove out. My business partner at the time drove out to Wisconsin, Northern Wisconsin, on the July 4th weekend. So we pull on lots of those heartstrings with that. Um, but herein lies one of the other reasons why we, and she's going to stretch for you. There you go. Little, little eagle yoga. As I'm getting into my, my really philosophical moment, she's like, no. Um, so um, one of the other reasons why we don't name birds. Um, eagle is the perfect example. When you folks look at her, you have your own emotions attached to it. I see people across the country. In fact, last spring we were in Washington, D.C. We've taken her down to Atlanta, Georgia. We've been to Philadelphia. We go to UP up in West Chicago. So we do a fair amount of travel. We see all kinds of different people, and everyone has their own attachment. But if I name her, and a lot of eagles are named um, with really patriotic names. 